Ben, what's just your general assessment? I guess there are two games of the defense. Sort of a summary of what you like. What are what are some things where you thought there's more in the tank for you guys? Yeah, obviously started really fast against Illinois. Um, that was a that was a positive, um, and then came out came out soft in the beginning of the second half. Um, so I thought we fixed that. Um, just our we really emphasized that you know coming out strong second half. Um, but then we, we started slow. So uh, I think we started slow the, the beginning of the game as far as defensively. So, um, you know, kind of putting it together, um, you know, starting fast and then obviously having a good em emphasis on the start of the second half as well. How much was that slow start about what Fordham was doing game plan wise? Yeah, I mean, they, they schemed us up well, um, ran a lot of RPOs, uh, and it puts a lot of stress on the backers. Um, and, and it's tough for um, up front to, to do much against that um, besides getting your hands up. So um, they schemed us up well. They tempoed us, um, weren't ready for, I guess, that amount of tempo that fast. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they came out with threw everything they had at us. Um, and so uh, it, was, it was a lot for us to, to handle. But, um, you know, obviously we adapted and, uh, you know, overcame it after uh, the first couple series there. When did you, oh, first couple series, is that when you, <clears throat> Felt like you were first set where you were, when you were getting settled in. Yeah, um, for sure. I think it was uh, that first series. They went, they were going real fast, and we ended up getting um, kind of Brent, Ben don't break mentality there, and ended up getting the the tip and the interception. Um, so yeah, I mean, it definitely took a, a couple series just to you know get used to that tempo. I think Buffalo led the country last year in yards per rush. To just watching them on tape, what what do you see from them? I know they lost some guys, but they've, they've got some of the same dudes back. Yeah, skill position-wise, um, th their back is, is elite. Um, that'll be a good test for us, um, bringing back two of their uh, two of their quality linemen um, up front, and then they got a couple of new guys up front too. So um, they obviously looked really good week one, um, and so it'll, it'll be a good test for us, uh, I think, in the run game. I don't know, does it, does it change things at all when you know it's a team that may, maybe they grind it out and, and they they like to chew clock kind of melt the game away does that does that put any extra pressure on getting off the field you know knowing that if they convert a first down it at you know more time goes off the clock stuff like that yeah obviously we want to um, especially with our how our offense works we want to get them the ball um, is give them as many opportunities as, as they can get um, and you know that's our, our job is to get the ball back to the offense um, as quickly as possible and as many get them as many series as they can throughout the game. So, um, yeah, with, with any team, that's an emphasis, but especially with a team that wants to run the ball. That uh, video released of Damian Jackson, what'd you think of that? And what's Damian like as, as a teammate and as a person? Yeah, that was a really cool video. Um, I told Aura that I thought that was a, that he always does a great job, obviously. Um, but I thought, um, yeah, that was a really exceptional video. Um, you know, Damian, uh, he, he's all you can ask for in a teammate. Um, and, and a leader and, and how he, he comes about his business and how he, how he works. Um, I don't think there's a guy on this team you could, you could ask um, what their opinion was. And uh, I think a lot of guys just admire his work, work ethic. And, um, you know, obviously he's, I don't even know how old he is, 27, 26, whatever he's doing at, at his age and, um, you know, going through the grind, it, it's really impressive. I asked Adrian about this, but did you get to meet some of the young kids who got tickets uh, through the program this this weekend they gave tickets to? Uh, the, the red carpet deal? Yeah. No. Um, there was a, um, from the road race, there were some kids in um, that uh, were involved with the road, way, ro road race, and we saw them um, Friday night, um, but none of the red carpet kids. That's sort of, sort of a follow-up, I guess, just with, as a Nebraska kid, what's the significance in sort of getting that next generation, you know, that where you know, Husker football Saturdays are just a, a, a big deal to them, you know? Yeah, um, I, I think it's something you saw, um, I don't know, recently uh, with some of these uh, kids, these in-state kids not wanting to come here and um, this not being their first choice. Um, it's kind of been a, been a trend and I think a part of that is um, obviously them growing up and not seeing a ton of success here. Um, and so, that, yeah, it's definitely something that's important. Um, myself, personally, that was, uh, it was, it was a dream of mine to come here, um, no matter how the team was performing. Um, and so, I guess, reinstilling that back in kids as they, as they come up in, um, 
and their age.